Transition Awareness Breathing. Feeling grounded for both children and parents is essential for healthy living and learning. Join Earth Apollo on this series for tips and tools for creating a harmonious environment for learning. Transition Awareness Breathing will help you and your child find an individualized path to tackle change, promote lifelong learning, and discover new approaches to calmness. Hi, this is Eartha, and I would like to offer a warning before we get started with our podcast today. I'm going to definitely talk about our awareness and highlight about what's going on over the past few weeks. We've been inundated and shocked and glued to the internet and our media about breaking news. I'm going to share information about what to do and what to be aware of when we're flooded with shocking stories about trauma and attacks. I will bring your awareness to how media that you may be looking at may influence your judgment, your emotions, and your self-care. I'm offering this information as education, which I learned years ago in field medicines operations. Make sure the information that you're getting is from reliable sources, trusted sources. Take a break and know your limitations. It is during times of trauma and shock that our body and our mind can get oversensitized. Take a breath. In addition to trying to find out what is going on around the world and keeping up with your family, you're still working. You're still managing your daily activities. You're still managing getting your children off to school. I invite you to take a moment and gather your thoughts, find purpose and positivity in your daily activities. Share your talents, and your gifts that are meaningful, that could not only help you and your family, also your community. Build your creativity to build positive thoughts and get rest and sleep so you can recharge yourself and be ready for another day. When your time comes, don't postpone it. When others doubt and out, you don't condone it. Truth be told, yourself is your toughest opponent. When your moment comes, grab hold and own Be brave. Have courage. Pull from your, your faith and from your strength. When you're listening to your special energized music or talks, look for the positive points. Even write them down. Draw what that music or those positive points or those lectures. Draw it out. Draw what it means to you. It builds your positive neurons. And then recharge. Eat healthy. Drink fluids. Because you may be busy not only with your family and your friends. You may be taking additional uh, activities on to help your community. Take care of yourself. Take time to find that breath as your anchor. And take care of yourself. I know you're doing the best you can. And you're helping in the best way you can. Take a moment. Look around your immediate area. If you have children, check out your children. Are there any changes in their behavior or their ability to do their work? And your pets. Many times, children and pets exhibit stress a little bit differently. Invite them to take a breath, take a walk. (laughs) 
And when you've checked the facts, and the facts, whatever they may be, is so strong for your emotions, take time. It's okay to cry. It's okay to express yourself, however, anger or sadness, or even fear. Make sure that you have your support family around you. You're not alone. Give yourself a hug. Give those around you a hug. Share compassion and kindness. And I invite you for a moment to allow yourself to let your mind be at ease without judgment. And I know I'm asking something that is difficult. Remember, the goal is you are recharging. You're recharging something that you cannot see. And that is your mind. And it's your, it's your physical resources. To take care of others, we must take care of ourselves. Believe in the higher power that you believe in. And allow yourself to let go of the stress. Let go of the things that we cannot control, at least right now. I invite you to participate in a small practice with me. Allow yourself to get into a comfortable position, whether you're laying down or standing or sitting, it's okay. Bring your awareness to your feet, to your toes. Allow yourself to be sensitive to any pressures in your feet, in your toes, moving up your legs. Allow the tension to melt. You can do this. As you relax your legs and your feet and your toes, moving up towards your knees and your hips, paying attention to where you're sitting at, paying attention and bringing your awareness to the firmness or the softness of where you're sitting or you're laying down. Not changing anything, but even expecting that distracting thoughts will come. Now let them go. Because right now, you're letting the pressure and the tension melt. You're allowing yourself to recharge, to renew. As you are paying attention to stressors and tensions, moving up towards your back. Imagine your favorite color. Imagine a favorite place, a favorite song. Breathing in your nose and blowing out your mouth. Bringing your awareness to your shoulders. Let them drop. Let them drop a little bit more. Breathe in and blow out and see if you can let your shoulders drop just a little bit more. Letting that move down to your arms, the relaxing sensation of your shoulders, allowing your muscles just to melt down to your hands and your fingers. Take a breath in and blow it out. And now, 
bringing our awareness up our neck, paying attention to any tension, any pressure, allowing that tension, that pressure to release, to relax for right now. This is your moment. This is your time. Taking a breath in and blowing it out. Bring our attention now moving up towards our forehead, around our cheeks and our mouth. Letting any tension, any stiffness, let it go for right now. You're recharging, you're renewing. Allow yourself to recharge and renew. Open your eyes. Thank you for participating with me in that activity. How was your feelings during that time? Acknowledge it. We're not denying it. We're expressing our emotions with our words and with our creativity. Maybe you want to journal right now or to draw or just talk. Taking a breath in and blowing out. Thank you so much for taking time with me today. You're wonderful, you're beautiful, and you're recharged. I look forward to talking to you again next time. Be sure and pick up a copy of Eartha's new book, Tab Mindfulness, Awareness and Coloring Activities in a Pandemic World. It's not just an ordinary coloring book. It features 23 illustrations to stimulate thought, relaxation, and creativity for anyone between the ages of 4 and 94. Increase your positive self-talk energy. Unlock new creative paths. Transform your time once or twice a week to create beautiful art while strengthening confidence, building positive self-talk, and sensitize self-awareness. Tab Mindfulness, awareness and coloring activities in a pandemic world. It's available now at Amazon.com. 